wanted to make a video about Bulgarians and their habit to live with their parents. I'm sure there are other countries where this is a common thing as well. And I know I will link it to K dramas, K you know culture. I don't think they do live with their parents all the time though, but in Bulgaria it's probably Europeans, probably post-communist countries, maybe South America. You can post down below about your country, but people tend to live with their parents. If they're single, they stay with their parents because the rent is very expensive, the salary is not high and they save money if they can because they have to pay for so many things. So they live with their parents, which is comfortable, you know, I mean, they're used to that. So what's that habit, staying there, Balkan habits? I'll mention again the film, My Fat Greek, My Big Fat Greek Wedding. I love that film, the first one, because we have the same habit. When you celebrate birthdays, when you go to weddings or whatever, you have all your family, extended family, like your cousins, aunts, uncles, grandparents, whatever, all together, noisy, eating, <laughs> celebrating, making comments. Oh, satin, slippery like an eel. Yeah. You're welcome. Shade everything asking questions you don't want to answer stuff like that we do have it and imagine living under one roof with your parents grandparents maybe uncles or aunts hmm? that can be quite crowded and then of course always it looks like these dramas you watch on tv it can be like south american dramas i don't think korean dramas probably some parts spanish maybe kind of sharing stuff looking for privacy you can't find and the only way is to live on your own and then with the salary you have you cannot really survive so you have to live in a, some small tiny place but i think it's more to mentality to do it i think just bulgarians don't have this mentality it's like wasting money if you do it when staying at home it's comfortable and you're saving money if you can save the money or you can just spend them on whatever you want of course it's not easy just imagine few generations sharing the same home or house and there are different points of view different opinions and sometimes you want to like break free and do stuff on your own meet friends have a boyfriend or a girlfriend which is not very comfortable but that's life I think now the tendency is to separate from your parents if you can, which means you have to have a better job, maybe two jobs, earn more money so you can pay rent, you can live somewhere on your own, you can have your own life, maybe you can share with a friend. The most popular situation, the most popular practice here in the UK is to share flat with other flight flatmates not your family which is nice because you live on your own you learn how to save money and how to be responsible it's really nice i think that tendency will um will come probably it is uh, coming popular in bulgaria right now i don't know but it's a good way to start on your own so what do people usually do they stay with their parents for quite a long time 
I think they can separate if they find a partner and they think to marry. Although most of the time they live with their partner, with their spouse and their parents. So they decide which flat or home is bigger enough to accommodate them. And then you can imagine the new family and the other family and what kind of uh, problems can occur and usually the mother, the mother-in-law and the daughter-in-law mm, it's a war most of the time I've heard terrible terrible stories to be honest but to avoid that you have to be on your own right anyway so they they do that there's also another thing when they have children their parents help them raise their children most of them some are happy to do that some are like obsessed doing that some don't like it i think that's probably everywhere the same which can be a good thing but not necessary so living in that flat because there is this thinking that people don't really like paying rent they would share that flat or they can save money to buy their own property which can be quite expensive if they live with their parents probably their parents have from their parents which means grandparents which means they can inherit from their grandparents a flat or house or something and it's kind of going through generations this inheritance so i'm not sure how many young people are encouraged to invest safe money and buy their own property also, there is this kind of understanding that your parents owe you that, that your parents have to help you your own all your life, oh, that your parents have to help you through, through your life till the end, that they have to give you place to live, that they have to help, help you raise the children. I think this is still a common theme not for everybody of course and if you live in the capital Sofia where you can earn more money and you can be independent that's a different story but for the small cities and for the villages where people can't do that they still stay like under the same roof I don't know how many generations and the thing in the villages is that that they can grow their own food which means they earn less money because there isn't um, much opportunities for earning lots of money there in the villages so they can save money but they live with their parents and grandparents hmm, probably aunts I don't know it can be quite a long like crowded the other thing is that especially in villages but also in towns like small towns and if you live in a huge flat of uh, blocks of flats you have some neighbors not all of them probably you don't know all, them, all, of, all of your neighbors but there is usually neighbors who would know you and will like I don't know want to say spying but hmm they will know all about your whereabouts people that visit you what do you do your habits if you are at home or not sometimes that can be something positive but most of the time probably it's not and they'll like to be nosy about your life some can even kind of 
probably steal your post, your mail. So you have to be careful. Well, that doesn't happen often, but it can happen. So living with your parents. When you're young, that can be a good thing. But at some point, it's not such a good thing, I think. What do you think? How old have you been when you left your home and started living on your own? Or at what age people in your country start living on their own? Or are people in your country usually live with their parents? Share down below, please about that trait and do like share and subscribe the video and i'll see you in the next video bye